guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're reacting to Hunger Games, the first movie. <laughs> um, this is a rewatch because I obviously have seen this movie already. Okay, maybe it's not obviously, but like I have seen this movie already like a thousand times, but like I love it. And so I thought I'm going to do a movie commentary to it, which brings me to my next point. This is a movie commentary. So to all the people in the comments who keep saying like I talk too much, you will see more from me than from the from the movie. So to all those people, now's your chance to get out. If you're still here, you now lost, lost any right to bitch about me talking too much in the comments. <laughs> First off, no one cares. Second off, I've warned you. And third, it's my channel. I can do whatever I like here. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for everyone else who's still here and who doesn't bitch about it in the comments, <laughs> Welcome back to my video. I'm so happy that you're here. Let's just jump right into the movie. Let's go. What defines your personal signature? <laughs> that's such a good tra transition. Like, yeah. That's that's a signature. <laughs> that kind of is a signature. Like, I'm not a bow expert, but like, if if there are any like bow experts with you like if any one of you is a bow expert like isn't it like really bad to like put the string that close to your mouth like yeah you should put it there but like it should there should be some space between like the string and your skin right because otherwise when it snaps back you just hurt yourself am i right i, I mean I'm, I'm just like shooting like every year on the winter uh, uh, at a Christmas market, like that's all I do for shooting. I absolutely love it, but it's all I do. But like, they always say to keep it like away from your face so that you like don't get hit with the string. But then again, I heard that Jennifer Lawrence was like taught uh, this for the movie uh, by like a hunter, uh, by like a bow expert. So maybe they do. She does it right. I don't know. That's why I, I'm asking you to like put it in the comments if you know. <laughs> Fun fact that in books there's not only like a hovercraft above them, there's like, it's later in the books, but there's like, um, they see how like an A box gets, gets trapped in the woods by that hovercraft and they hide from it. Happy Hunger Games. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Oh, that was a pretty good Effie voice. <laughs> like really good. How many times did your name in today? 42. By the way, I've saw, saw like so many people uh, that commented on like um, this movie and they were like, hey, why is his name in there so often and like how often is Prim's name in there and stuff like that. Like if you get food, you get your name put in there more often. So names, Prim's name is only in there once because like she doesn't put it because Katniss is looking out for the family and she doesn't let Prim put her name in there more often. And Katniss's name is probably a few times more in there than... It should be because like every year you get your name gets put in there one more time. Ah, get this too. <laughs> That's a mocking Jay. A mocking Jay. Um, and also she also got like food a few times. But Gail also has like two or three brothers, I think, at least in the books. And so he his hunting skills didn't always like help them him like out with all of it to keep them all fed so he put his name in there several more times than it, or that it should be um so it's 42 which is insane because i think he's like 16 so it should be in there like i don't know four or six i don't know what the what the exact time was that it should be in there but i think it's it's four times or five times um like that's all and he's his name is in there 42 times <laughs> like that's insane <laughs> Nothing bad will happen to you. Don't jinx it, darling. Don't jinx it. Don't ever jinx it. <laughs> How should you only kid that gets like scared at this? Like there's so many other children in her size and they don't seem to get scared. I love how like she doesn't recognize like anything that's be happening. Like she yeah, cook. She isn't even concentrating. That she doesn't even look at them. She's like, her oh, whole focus is on Prim. Everything else is just like, yeah, I'm not looking at what I'm doing. I'm just walking. I'm looking for Prim, and her whole focus is just on Prim. I love it. And 
May the odds be ever in your favor. Isn't it probably the same movie like every year? Like they probably don't do it over and over again, right? It's probably the same movie every every year. So most of those people will be will be like so annoyed by watching this again. Fight to the death in a pageant of honor, courage, and sacrifice. That's so fucked up. Like, how did no one think that, like, that someday, the, like, the districts would, like, rise up? Like, how did no one suspect it back then? Like, they should suspect, should have suspected that, like, someday, districts would rise up because they are treated terribly. Like, I'm sorry, they should have suspected that. They should have seen that coming. <laughs> it's, like, a really, really bad... A way to like ensure peace because like if you do something like that someday they will always fight back maybe do you have them like subdued for the moment as long as they like feel the defeat but later on like someone always will start a rebellion and then the people always will fight back someday if you treat them that badly so i don't really it, it's, it's really stupid of them to really think that that wouldn't happen primrose everdeen yeah, her name is in there one time, and she got picked. One fucking time. Prim! Prim! Stop! Stop! I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! No! No! That's so heartbreaking. District 12's very first volunteer. This is so screwed that, like, n never before did any sister or brother volunteer for their sister or brother. <laughs> Like no before, that's kind of screwed. Katniss Everdeen. Yeah, they're not clapping. That's nothing. Peter Malark. The bread boy. <laughs> like, and once again, like someone whose name wasn't in there that often, considering that he would never have to. Like, he's kind of a rich from a rich, rich family, so he would never have to put his name in there for extra food, you know. So. It's also like very unlikely that he's picked more likely than Bru uh, than Prim, but still unlikely. You have three minutes. Three minutes? She's going to death. You can give the family more than three fucking minutes. To protect you. Because it w worked so well for you, I would be like, no, thank you. <laughs> it worked shit for you. I'm not gonna take that. Take care of them. Get whatever you do. Don't let them start. I don't think you would have had to ask that, darling. I think he would have them taken care of them nonetheless. He would never let them starve. He did win this thing once. She doesn't really feel like talking. Don't you understand that? Like, I know you want to make conversation, but... Nothing wrong with getting a little bit of help. I love, look, like, how she looked at him, like... She thought that he was, like, hinting at something and, like, throwing a punch at her with her with his words, like... In a book, she actually thinks that for a second, but like she acted it out so well without like saying any words. Embrace the probability of your imminent death. I know in your heart that there's nothing I can do to save you. So why are you here then? Oh, the refreshments. Okay, I think that's. He has to. I would be like, dude, not your foot. Put your foot away from me. Or you lose it. But also, like, Hamish, like, is an alcoholic, but, like, he's an alcoholic because, like, he has to do that every year and has to watch the... He has to, like, bond with the kids first and watch them die. Like, that's terrible. Without being able to do anything. That's the marmalade. <gasps> that is mahogany. <laughs> she only cares about the table. It's killed a placemat. She didn't want to, like, hit you. Otherwise, she would have hit you. You get people to like you. Yeah, that's, she's not really good at that. Like, she's, like, not, not that person who makes, like, friends really easily and, like, has that kind of charm turned on. Like, she doesn't have to. She's, like, on survival instinct the whole time and, uh, like, kind of doesn't give a shit what people think as, as long as, like, it, it secures her survival. Like, so she doesn't have, like, this obvious charm that, like, Peter has on him. Like, that's also kind of needed in this whole thing. <laughs> so... I, I think when you get to know her, like, you start liking her, like, Sinner, for example. Or at least some people, people will like Sinner, for example. He, like, gets to know her and she's, like, totally open with him and gets to know him like, a little bit. And they, like, vibe. And, like, he and she take has no effort in, like, she does no effort in, like, making him like her. But he does. 
nonetheless you know and like that's if you get get to know her really but like this whole thing is like not getting to know her for real but like putting on a show for the people and like i don't think she's good at that and i don't only think it i know that she isn't good at that <laughs> Uh, the only thing that's gonna like win them over are like those 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 acts like later with Drew or like a prim where she seems human where you can see that she seems human and she does care and that she just does what she does what she like thinks it's right that that's the whole thing that's gonna start a rebellion like and that's what's gonna make people like follow her not that she's like extremely charming <laughs> that's definitely not it. Yeah, see, he 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 raves his hand. I would do this. <laughs> like I would, I would give them my middle finger. I would be like, "You suckers are the reason that I am have to go in the arena, and you're gonna cheer me on for my death, or for me to kill people." Like, no. I would also be like extremely unlikable in this situation. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like, you're sending me to my death. I don't see why I should make you like me. Most people just congratulate me. Well, I don't see the point in that. Oh, yeah, I love Sinner. He's awesome. Doctor of each district. Mm. Right. Those costumes are so dumb somehow. Most of them are just so ugly. Like, I could have done a better costume, and I'm terrible at shit like that. The girl on fire. Ah, I love how this kind of becomes like a running gag throughout the books because like she's now on fire, but like they gotta set her on fire several times during the books and during the movies where she's not in that costume. Yeah, you look awesome, guys. You look absolutely awesome. And then she's like really burning. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, she's a girl on fire. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's kind of an ass move. <laughs> But you're also kind of like, you should have saw it coming. When you like set her on fire, you should have saw it coming that they would use like that against her. That they would make like a really funny joke and a really entertaining thing. And so they would like use fire against her somehow. You should have kind of saw it coming. <laughs> it was kind of obvious. In two weeks, 23 of you will be dead. Also, they're only in their like under two weeks. I only thought, I always thought that it was like, they just put them against each other if there's like been a time a too long of a time that nothing happened like but I th thought that like it wasn't like in a certain time frame like they were just put in there and it went till one person was still alive but like two weeks without the four days from now is like a little more over a week so it's like do they have to get done then like Will they, the game makers, push for, like, there then only being, like, one person left? Is that why they, like, keep laying obstacles in the way? Because I thought that they were, like, pushing them towards obstacles because they didn't want the game to get, like, too slow, you know, and too unentertaining. <laughs> but now it's like they are on a time schedule, so. Okay, didn't notice that before. I have to say, I didn't notice that before. I'm not sure if it's the same in the books. If you read the books and you have them, like, present in your mind, write in the comments. But I have to say, like, even though I'm, like, keep um, talking about, like, the books, I have to say I read the books, like, once and that's it. And I have to say, like, this is, like, one of, like, really a few movies, movies and books. Like, movies that, like, comes from bo um, book originally. or gonna movies or a general movie series that comes from a book series originally. Well, the movie did it better than the book, in my opinion. Like, I liked the books, but, like, I wasn't compelled to, like, read them several times. But I absolutely loved the movies. So, like, this is, like, really one of the few series where, or series where, like, the movies actually did, like, a better job than the books did. <laughs> in my opinion. And I don't think they let them have dessert. And you can. We're probably gonna get killed by them in the area because they have so much training, but yeah, sure, we can have dessert. She said District 12 might finally have a winner. But she wasn't talking about me. <laughs> his mother is such a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but his mother is really a bitch. Like, she can think that, but like, she can't say that. You don't say shit like that to your son who's going into death. <laughs> you just don't. <laughs> How did you do that? I, uh, I used to decorate the cake. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the fucking stupidest thing. The stupidest explanation I ever heard. I'm sorry. This is the stupidest explanation I ever heard. And it's so bad that later on it actually works for him. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, but decorating cakes doesn't make you good at skin painting yourself like a tree. Like, maybe it gives you, like, an advantage of that, but it makes you doesn't make you, like, that good at it. Or, like, it also it's also not, like, a reason. Like, yeah, I'm kind of good at drawing as a reason, but it's not like, yeah, I used to decorate, it, decorate cakes. Like, okay, that's a jump. <laughs> but also, like, this... It's total bullshit. This, this is actually gonna help him later on. And he's gonna be able to decorate himself like he decorated a cake and like he did this later on in the arena. So it does, he doesn't get found. <laughs> That's the biggest fucking bullshit ever. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's so stupid. It's so, that it's actually really funny. <laughs> yeah, and that's so disrespectful. And they have like really short attention spans. <laughs> Yes. Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> I love it. You realize that your actions reflect badly on all of us, not just you. Just want a good... She doesn't care. Inner sinner. How about that? She doesn't care about her manners. She's about to die. She's about to get. She's about to get sent into an arena full of people who want to kill her. Sent by people who want to watch her die for their entertainment. She doesn't give a fuck, darling, about manners. <laughs> Towards the people who's go who are going to send her to her death for their entertainment. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> nice shooting, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> I love that Hamish totally approves. Rue with a score of seven. Did you see Rue has a score of 7 and now I want to know what the hell she did to get a score of 7 and be only like one point beneath Peter. With a score of 11. <gasps> yeah, she's gonna get like a lot, it's gonna be like a lot easier to get her sponsors now so I understand why everyone's happy about that right now but it's also gonna paint like a really big fat target on her back so maybe don't be that happy about it. You're pretty quick and are you a hunter? A gather? Also Caesar is like so good at like making anyone likable. Yeah really many people I wouldn't have liked that either to go on stage up there? Oh my god, I would have been terrified. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Like, I want that dress, please. Like, I don't know where I would wear it, but I, like, I want that dress. That's kind of awesome. I would try to win for her. You have s they have so many, like, lines that are so memorable in, that mo in this movie. Do I smell like roses to you? <laughs> um, uh, alright. <laughs> they have, like, really good chemistry on stage. Like, they... Like, they really have, like, an awesome chem chemistry on stage. <laughs> but I don't think she actually recognized me until the reaping. Well, she kind of did, but she kind of didn't, you know? Like, she remembered you from as a bread boy. I don't think winning's gonna help me at all. And why not? Because she came here with me. And I still don't understand why the hell she's gonna be pissed about it right now. Like, she... Is gonna say that she's it's making her look weak, which I don't understand at all because she didn't say that she liked him. She didn't say anything about him at all, so his feelings doesn't affect her at all. And also, like I I I don't see that. And even if it was that way, like it wouldn't make her seem weak. So I don't get it. And also, she doesn't really recognize it right now. He's saying that he likes her, so he's suggesting that. You, there's something about her to like. So he's making her more likable with what he's saying. Like, it's also get, getting points for him, of course, but it, he's also making her more likable. So I don't really understand why she's gonna get pissed at him, but. But they change you. I don't know. I'm gonna turn me into something I'm not. Oh my god, this is such a foreshadow and also so tragic because Snow is gonna turn him again in some. Uh, into something that he's not in the end. <laughs> and I mean, he's gonna come back from that, but still, like, they're literally gonna turn him into something that he's not. 
oh my god, Jennifer Lawrence does such a bang up job here. It's so amazing. What a great job she does in here. Like, she doesn't do much. Like, she, her face isn't like contorting much. She's like not doing much with her face. She's not doing much with her, with her voice or anything. She's just doing it like a little bit, but it's, it works so fucking well. Like, it would work so fucking well. You can feel that fear that she has right now. It's, it's amazing. Seconds. You see, it's like, she doesn't do much, but it, like, you, f you feel it so good, so well. Like, you can feel the horror. Seconds. And, like, the belly contained like hysteria that's in her right now. You can feel it is. It's awesome. Hey, it's woods at least. You know how to ha be in woods? You know how to survive in woods? Like that's a really great opportunity for you. Like that's a really good advantage for you. <sighs> and she's ignoring what Hamish said and ran for that bag. I mean, it's gonna help her survive like a lot in this thing. But like still, she risked like a lot. I also like that like they didn't put it in the movies and you only have like the sound and you don't hear anything. You have only this music. It's in the music that works so well with the scene. But like in a book, she will she got like the knife flew to her and was in the bag and she was like, "Thanks for the knife." <laughs> no one from ten, eleven, or twelve is dead yet. That's pretty good, considering that they are like the poorest of the districts. Uh, it's just, you know, f making a fire is just stupid. Like even if you're freezing, I'm sorry, it's stupid. You w will be seen and then you're gonna be, gonna be dead. Yeah, now they're like putting on the whole fire thing and I'm like, yeah. Should have seen that coming when you set the whole goal on fire thing. <laughs> good to have you, dude. You're way too heavy and you're not nearly as good as climbing as she is. She's gotta come down at some point, that or starve to death. I'll just kill her then. Like, she don't know, thinks that like, it's a really bad move and he's like against her, but like, it was it was that or they keep attacking her and the idea that, um, and the fact that they would keep like attacking her, at some point they would hit her, at some point she would fall off the tree, at some point they would figure something out. Or hit her by accident and some, or some shit, you know? Like, this way they keep from hitting her and he's giving her some time to figure out what to do. How to get out of the situation, how, how to go from there. Like, he's even giving her them in a vulnerable state because at some point they have to sleep. And they will sleep because, like, they feel like a bigger predator. So they're not gonna stay awake because she's on a tree. They're gonna go to sleep. And then she can sneak up on them and kill them or find some other way to like run away in the dark, you know? So he's really giving her a chance right now when originally she wouldn't have had a chance because if they would have like not, if you wouldn't have made it suggestion, they would have uh, suggestion, damn it. Speaking is hard guys, speaking is hard. <laughs> it would have like um, kept shooting at her, kept throwing knives at her and stuff like that. And at some point, they would have hit her, even if it would have been by accident, but they would have hit her. It's so cute. Rue was obviously following her, like, the whole time. Dream cases. Death. Why does it have to be wasps? I hate wasps. I'm so afraid of those things. Why does it have to be wasps? Why couldn't it be, I don't know, a lion with teeth that have the venom? Why does it have to be wasps? Ugh. Oh, and this, this, this noise, I hate it. I, ha I have to, I have to put this out right now. I can't hear that voice. <laughs> Not that voice, that, that noise. Okay, so in the books it was explained that like, the, they didn't attack her and didn't feel like the vibration of the tree very well. And they were so slow um, because they were like still, um, tired and kind of like dizzy from the smoke from the fire from earlier i'm out i'm out i'm sorry nope i will like nope kill me now please 
with something else than, than wasps. I love that they made like the home explode because like it, it didn't actually explode of course like the mine there was an explosion in the mines but not like in her home but like her dad dying made her mom in this state and that made like her home home and her family kind of implode you know <laughs> and after they like it kind of shown it visually by like blowing the home up even though it was even though it wasn't blown up and you see that like a second later when like it's still there and like she's just sitting in front of like her mother screaming at her to like wake up from whatever shock state she's in and then a metaphor <laughs> if you like wet metaphors as much as i do maybe you should take a look into my encanto reaction i reacted to encanto um the movie and maybe you, you just like take a look in there watch that after you watch this video i'll see you for supper uh don't say shit like that i'll see you for supper i'll be right back shit like that it always drinks his stuff. I thought you should have known that by now. Fun fact, in the books, Katniss go actually goes death on one ear um, after that explosion. Uh, and he drinks it again. Yeah, her first kill actually, and it wasn't for her, it was out of instinct to protect Rue. And it didn't even protect her. <laughs> That's so fucking sad, poor Rue. Like, she's so young and she's so innocent and she's, oh, I love her and now she's dead. It's so tragic. Did you blow up the food? Yeah, she did, honey. And she's gone. It's such a strong choice to, like, keep the sound of her screaming out there. Because, like, you don't need her, the sound of her screaming, like her body language alone tells you everything and it's heartbreaking she just wants to, wanted to do something awesome for rue like she couldn't like live with like like she created a whole bed of flowers around her but she couldn't like live with like letting her look so ugly and with like a bad wound before when she got like picked up by the hovercraft Like, she only wanted to do, uh, show her respect and start the rebellion. Like, her respecting another one. Like, Rue was her enemy in, that, in there, but she didn't make her an enemy. Like, she showed her kindness. And even after her death, she, like, it really hurt her. By giving her kindness, she kind of defied the brutality of that the whole games are. That they, that they are supposed to ensure between the districts, you know? That's why she started the rebellion, because she was showed kindness. From now on, two victors may be crowned if both originate from the same district. This will be the only announcement. Yeah, it's bullshit. And I'm sorry, but you, like, should have noticed that the moment they said it. Like, they have real hope now that they could, like, win together. And I'm like, you do know that it's a trick, right? It's so obviously a trick. It's not even funny. Like, it's so obvious. And now... The funniest fucking movie in this entire... Uh, the fu funniest fucking moment in this entire movie. Watch it. <laughs> he can do this because he decorated cakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is hilarious. How did he even do this without pain and shit? <laughs> like how? <laughs> did that even work? After that, I... I watched you going home every day. Oh, you, so you stalked her? Awesome. In the books, it's by the way even worse. I'm pretty sure, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that he followed her home. Not just like watched her work home, but like followed her home every day. <laughs> and she dead. Just this time, 12. For real. I'm just kidding. I'll go take some stuff. She's not letting go of that bow, dude. Not even while sleeping. She's not letting go of that uh, bow. It's been a hurry to end it. Seems like it. I mean, they're on a tight time schedule, so... I'm pretty sure the week and the half are already over, so they need to end it now. Are the people, like, watching all the time? Or, like, like there's, there are two options. Either the people are watching the whole shit live, 
then it would be like oh, the whole time because the lo whole time shit is happening and you like would have to jump to one from the other from one to the other and shit like that secondly uh, then they ha wouldn't have uh, wouldn't go to school and to sleep and shit on the other hand Maybe they're watching only cuts of that and like the highlights that w had happened in that day. But then, why the hell would they show the whole Rue thing um, and Rue dying and what Katniss did to her and the whole sign thingy um, in the cut edition when they could, could just cut it out? Because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have showed that if they would have had a choice because they would have known what it meant. Like, I'm so confused. Are they watching? Are the people watching it live, or are they watching like the cut version of it? Which is it? Neither one of them makes sense. <laughs> I know there's gonna be a jump scare. I'm really hoping that I'm not gonna get this jump scare this time. But like, it it gets me every time. So I don't know about yet. But I know there's gonna be a jump scare. So I'm trying not to get <laughs> scared. <laughs> I'm trying not to get surprised. And now it's somewhere when Peter turns around or something like that. Somewhere now it should be. Ah, shit! I knew that was coming! Why did I get scared? Damn it! Fun fact in books they were like, just like dogs, but they were like, they looked like the dead tributes. All of them, I like the were dog-like, but they also like looked like the dead tributes, each and every one. There was like Rue one and the fox face one and all that shit. It was like really fucked up. And we both go down and you win. Honestly, I would go for it. <laughs> Sorry to Peter, but honestly, I would go for it. <laughs> Especially since I know that the capital people wouldn't let two people win. They just wouldn't. Allowing for two victors from the same district has been revoked. Obviously. That was so obvious. Great. Yeah. Stop! Stop! And you just won, guys. You just tricked the capital. And that the whole rebellion thing. <laughs> Especially Katniss. Because <laughs> it was like her idea. She was the one who volunteered for her sister. She was the one with Rue. Who did the whole thing with Rue. Like, she's the head of the rebellion. That's why Pisa isn't. Like, he just went along with it. <laughs> You just started the rebellion, guys. They don't take these things lightly. Yeah, they, I don't think she realized how serious it was what she did. I was so in love with this boy that the thought of not being with him was unthinkable. You, you'd rather die than not be with him, you understand? Hamid was so good at really coaching them. Like, when, she, when he tries, he's so good at this. In the books, he's, like, splitting the ground and, like... What a, every one of them gets a half, I think. I don't know. I guess we try to forget. Yeah, that's not what he wanted to hear. <laughs> They're so happy that she's back. She actually won. <laughs> like, she even would have won if, like, she didn't rebel, because, like, she would have killed Peter, Peter easily, even if he would have fought back. Like, she would have won anyways. <laughs> okay, guys, this was the first movie of the Hunger Games. Yeah, I've seen it before. I still love it. I still absolutely love it. It's better than the books. Like, it's one of those very, very rare shows uh, or series, movie series, that actually are better than the books that they were adapted from. It's awesome. I hope you liked my reaction. Over here, you can now click on the most recent upload. Edit. And over here, you get to my Encanto reaction because I also did a reaction to Encanto and that was also, also really fun and I fucking loved the singing and the music in there. Um, so yeah, you can click over here for that. Other than that, I hope I will see you in the next video again or at least in my next movie reaction to Hunger Games Catching Fire. Until then, bye guys! <laughs>